Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for a new Databricks video. In today's video we are going to see how to create a remote connection and browse or write data into a remote data system. First, we have to enable unit catalog on our Databricks workspace, otherwise we cannot create a remote connection. We can create a remote connection and a catalog to reflect this remote data. It's a very neat way to browse remote data and also be able to assign the necessary permissions and privileges to the users. We can connect to an Azure SQL Server, Amazon Redshift, MySQL, PostgreSQL and other data systems, but most importantly to a different database workspace, which is very convenient in many cases. In our example, we are going to connect to another database workspace and an Azure SQL Server. So, let's get down to business. First of all, I would like to show you that we have two Databricks workspaces. For the sake of this example, they both belong to the same resource group. And if we go on the account console, you can see the, they both have assigned the same uh, Metastore, right? Here, so if we go here in our catalogs, you can see we have created a Metastore from our previous video. And then I have assigned this Metastore to two Databricks workspaces. Now, in theory, you would have different Metastores assigned to the Databricks workspaces. But for the sake of this example, and because we can only use one Metastore per region, at least for this account I have, I have assigned this Metastore to two different Databricks workspaces. So, if we go to the first one, to the first Databricks workspace, you can see Unity catalog is enabled. We have three main catalogs, the main one, the prod and the test. So three catalogs and the catalogs that we created in the previous examples. And they have tables and all these kind of things, right? And here on the second Databricks workspace, we again, we have the same catalogs because both workspaces have been assigned to the same Metastore, right? So what we are going to do here is create a remote connection. So click on the add button here, create a connection and then provide the connection name. So let's say that from this Databricks workspace, we want to see this uh, test catalog from this Databricks workspace, right? So what we have to do is actually go here, create and then remote Databricks, Databricks workspace and then provide the connection type here as you can see we have Amazon Redshift, Azure Synapse, Databricks, Google BigQuery, Hive Metastore, HTTP, MySQL, Oracle, Postgres, Salesforce, etc, etc, Snowflake and Azure SQL Server, Workday Reports, all these things. So here what we want is Databricks. And then click on next and then here you have to provide the domain right so this is the databricks uh, the second databricks workspace that we want to connect so paste the domain without the https right and then personal access token i have already created one but we can create again so click on settings on your second Databricks workspace, right? The one that you want to connect to. And then under developer, create an access token, generate a new token, and then provide something. And then here, copy that into here, and then you want HTTP path, right? So the only way to connect is not from an yeah, all purpose compute cluster, we have to go here under SQL warehouses, open that and in connection details you will see this JDBC URL and HTTP path. So copy this HTTP path and here as you can see it says slash SQL slash version slash warehouses etc etc. So then create a connection and then here uh, you want the catalog that you want to 
connect to, right? So we want the test catalog. So let's create a test catalog, click on test connection. Okay, so here select your cluster. So I have one cluster up and running, test the connection. And here it says connection established. They provided connection information with catalog tests have been verified and su can successfully connect to your external data source. So close that and then create the catalog and then provide access to the users that you want. So for example, let me provide to all users all the privileges, grant all the privileges, click on next and then save. You can uh, use the meta store, meta data step as well. And here, as you can see, we have this remote Databricks workspace catalog, right? And then here you can see the bronze, uh, the bronze schema with all this uh, table. Click on the table here to see the data, right? You can see the data that we have under this Unity catalog. This is a remote connection. As uh, I said, both have the same uh, meta store, right? So here, as you can see now, if you refresh on the other Databricks workspace, you will see the remote connection. Well, essentially, one remote connection is using another Databricks workspace to connect to this test catalog. Here, as you can see, they both have the same schemas and the same tables. The same tables here, as you can see, right? So everything uh, is working fine. We created a remote connection. Now, if we refresh here, you will see the schema as well and the tables. And here, this is how you can create a remote connection to a different Databricks workspace. Now let's move to our second example. Here I have a notebook on how to create a remote connection using SQL. As you can see, I have already run this command, this uh, create connection, then provide a connection name, type SQL server, and then in the options you have to provide the host, the port, the user, and the password. And then you can use this describe connection command to see the details of this connection. So let me run it here and here it says the connection name, the type, the owner, read only and the, the options which is the host and the port. Now here you can find all those details in the overview uh, blade here for the SQL database, the server name and uh, here if we see the data I have one table called uh, test we have this dbo schema dot test which is the table and we have one record so if we run this command you will see one record here and in theory we should be able to query the same table using the remote connection in uh, in our databricks workspace now but before you run this command here first you have to use this create foreign catalog if not exists and then here you provide a catalog name using connection, the connection that we created above here, this one. And then you have to, in the options, you have to specify the databases, uh, the database, because otherwise uh, we only created the connection, but we haven't specified the database to select the data from. And then uh, first, actually, let me run this. This command here, let's uh, create the foreign catalog. Give it a second. Okay, and let's select uh, the data from this remote table in the Azure SQL server. And you can see the data now here, we select the data from that table. Here in the Databricks uh, documentation, you can find examples on how to create a connection using SQL and how to connect to different types like PostgreSQL, HTTP, etc, etc. And here how to create a remote uh, foreign catalog, create foreign catalog and then the catalog name using connection and then options uh, you provide 
the database. Let's go back to our catalog here and we would be able to see this. Now let's refresh. And here, as you can see, we have this uh, foreign catalog which points to the table in our uh, Azure SQL server. And we can do the same by using this add button, create a connection, test uh, SQL, for example, connection type. And here you select uh, the type that you want, SQL server authentication type username and password right and then click on next and then provide the domain and you can find it here server name and then the port is the same and then let me uh, write down the password right give me a second to copy the password and then click on next Trust server certificate, create a connection, and then test underscore SQL underscore catalog would be the foreign catalog, which is the exactly this one here, this SQL command, create foreign catalog, right? And then you specify the database and here, so copy the name of your database, create catalog, and then access again you can provide whatever access you want to specific users which is very convenient when you work on a real life project click on next and then save and here again as you can see we are able to access the sql server and see all those databases and the data from those tables And this is how you can create a foreign catalog and a remote connection to browse data or write data in remote data systems. I think it's a pretty nifty way to access remote data and Databricks makes it easy right now with Unity Catalog. This is it for today guys. If you like the video and if you learned something new, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.